Good morning. My name is Manny with Hayward. Today we'll be talking about commercial pumps and filters. So we'll start this right now. Um, we'll talk about general information, installation, and operation. So let's begin with this presentation. First of all, who are we? For who or the people that don't know us that well, well, we're a company that is pretty much international. It was founded in 1925 by Mr. Irvine Hayward or Irvin Her Hayward. And then it was acquired by the Davis family in 1964. Uh, the company was sold to a private equity con consortium on 2017 in August. And as you can see, we have companies or manufacturing companies all over the place, all over the world in the United States, China, and also France, Australia, and China. So we are a pretty big company, as you know. And just to let you know, the webinars that we have coming up um, are gonna be commercial pumps today and filters. Also tomorrow we'll be talking about commercial automation, chemistry. And then Friday, we'll talk about programming, OmniLogic and OmniHub. You can always go to Hayward-Webinar to get all the information that you're going to be seeing today. So we'll have all that able for you to just take it or see it or re-see it anytime that you want. At the same time, we'll be sending some information like uh, technical bulletins and, and, and more. So just go to this webinar or to this web page and uh, you will have access to every single thing that we will be talking today. So what is a commercial pool? As you know, a commercial pool is pretty much a big body of water. So there's gonna be a lot of things that we require for a big body of water. In this case, we'll talk about uh, big size pumps at the same time with filters. Why is it important to have a, a good filtration? Well, as we know, commercial pools have a big load of bodies, a big load of uh, uh, people coming in, and um, this is gonna require a lot of uh, maintenance. And this, in this case, size of the pump, it's very important since we need a, cer um, a certain filtration, a certain kind of flow. At the same time, tomorrow we'll talk about chemistry. Since that's gonna be very important, we gotta remember one thing here that um, a commercial pool is gonna require about three, if not more, total cycles or filtrations per day. So that's why we come to this part where we need to have a certain flow. So Hayward has all these new pumps that are more efficient at the same time filters, and we'll talk about it in, in, in just a little bit. But as you see, automation is gonna be part of it since we need to have a certain chemistry and our pumps and at the same time our filters are more efficient because we can move more water with less energy and then the uh when we come to the filtration systems we'll figure it out or we'll see why having a cartridge filter instead of a sand filter for example it will make the water even more efficient or more chemically balanced or more clean compared to um, simply just a sand filter. So energy efficient, support for the environment. Using less water means more water supply for more important aspects such as wildlife, animals, and ourselves. And again, less energy usage. At the same time, we'll get more heat and less waste water introduced to the ecosystem. That's why cartridge comes here as a very important thing 
since we're going to be using less chemicals, we're going to be wasting less water, and so on. So that's the reason why we have this picture here showing how a better filtration makes our water so much better. So let's talk about commercial pumps. This is going to be the HCP series. We have several models as the HCP 2000, and then we have the TriStar 950. At the same time, we have the HCP 3000, also in variable speed. And then the biggest one we have is an HCP 4000. It goes up to 12.5 horsepower. Unions from all these models are gonna vary, either gonna be two inch or two and a half, or up to four inch connections. Now, depending on the model, depending on, on, the, on the size of the pump, we're gonna determine if um, the connection can be either 208 or 230 volts, or up to 460, 330, or 575 volts. It all, it's all gonna depend on the size of the pump. So let's talk about the ACE, um, HCP 4000. This model starts from 5.5 horsepower up to 12.5. It's also three phase. The motors are TEFC, which is totally enclosed fan cooled. Uh, that means that they are more efficient. Permanent magnet. So that's gonna make our pumps more efficient when we talk about flowing. So more flow with less electricity. This model starts with 230 volts up to 460 or 330 to 535 when it comes to three phase. <clears throat> Four inch connections, thermos plastic. So everything's plastic except the motor. And it's gonna have a big basket with four nubs for easy access. The maximum flow that we can get on one of these pumps that is 12.5 horsepower will be about 775 gallons per minute. So that's a lot of flow. One of these models are NSF certified. So we have that guaranteed also. And here you can see how we have competitive advantages. Again, price advantage over the competition. It's about 10% less in all the uh, SKUs or all the models. Lightweight, glass, reinforced hydraulic body. Impeller made of out of glass, reinforced neural by maximum strength. 20% quieter, that's a good thing also. And it primes really quick, up to 90% faster than a competitive brand. Again, unions, four inch on the biggest model. So that's good for the flow. And it's very easy to install simply just by, by one person, quiet and efficient. Models, here we can see we have four models on this uh, specific HCP 4000 series. It, started, it starts with 5.5 horsepower and it goes up to 12.5. There are all uh, 60 hertz. Amperage, we can see here the maximum amperage on each one of those models. Either on 230 or 460, the amperage is going to be a little bit different. So for 230, for example, on the biggest one, uh, the maximum consumption will be about 31 amps. But if we connect this to, to, to a 460 voltage three phase, then we'll get a consumption up to almost 60 amps. So it makes a big difference when you plug it in, depending on 230 or 460 volts. Here we can see the performance. So again, the, 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 the biggest model can move up to 776 gallons per minute at 30 feet of head, but if we go a little bit higher, for example, at 60, then we can still move about 536 gallons per minute. Remember, you're gonna get all this information, so you'll have it handy. 
HCP 3000. That's a little bit smaller pump. It goes up to seven horsepower. Also, the motor is TEFC. They are single phase. The connections are going to be two and a half inch on the inside or three inch on the outside. And it flows the biggest one up to 300 gallons per minute at 40 feet of head or 40 TTH. Very nice model, as you can see here. Big basket, uh, clear lid, so you can see when it's dirty or not. Again, the motor is TEFC, and it also comes with a mechanical seal that we call Viden seal. So this kind of seal is going to make this pump so much better against either salt or bad chemistry, since the mechanical seal is going to be so much stronger. Also, you can separate the pump for a better access. You can put the pump inside of the room, but maybe you can put the basket outside of a room. So that way you have better access without having to go inside of the equipment room. So single phase, three phase also, 208, 230 volts, 240, uh, 460. And all of these models are either 50 or 60 hertz. Hydraulics, medium, this is a, this is a high head pump. And again, we go up to seven horsepower. So we have several models, and it's all going to depend on the um, installation or the need of it. Large top mount electrical box, that's going to be for easy access, easy connection. So you will have a very good um, easy installation with these pumps. And here we can see all the specifications of these models. Uh, remember that we have one model only, which is also a variable speed pump on this series of 3000. That model will be the first one you see on this page, which is 2.7 horsepower. And they are all 50, 60 hertz, except for the model in the middle, <clears throat> which is a five horsepower pump. So again, Depending on the on the um, market or where we need to install this, keep in mind that this model is only going to be for 60 hertz. And once again, we can see here how much or how many gallons per minute these pumps will move. The one in the bottom, which is a seven horsepower pump at 40 feet of head. It will move about 335 gallons per minute. And at, for example, at 90 feet of head, which is something not very recommendable, but in case we have a bad installation with big spaghetti, we call it, where you have a lot of plumbing, a lot of 90s, a lot of T's. Well, I mean, at that point, it will still move about 185 gallons per minute. So the clean, the cleaner, the plumbing is the more flow we're going to get with these pumps. And here we can see the curves of these pumps. Now, these curves, you can find them also in our catalog or simply just go to uh, Hayward.com and then look for specifications of this model pumps and you will find these curves. This will tell us how much flow we can get out of each one of these models. TriStar 950, this is a pump that is either commercial or residential. We use this pump mostly for res residential installations, but why do we put it on commercial? Because this pump will come with connections of either two inch or two and a half inch. This pump can move up to 160 gallons per minute, and it's also variable speed. So if we have a commercial pool that is not that big and we need flow, but we can do that flow in three different turnovers, then we can put a pump like this where it can run at a lower speed 
and run simply 24 seven. Remember that in commercial pools, the filtration needs to be on 24 seven by code, at least in the United States. We need to have water flowing through that pool 24 seven to keep the water healthy, to keep the water moving and to keep it clean. Okay, well, in this case, if the situation um, applies, we can use one of these variable speed pumps at a lower speed and that, that will save us energy. And besides that, it will keep our water flowing and keep it healthy. Also, this model comes with the system that we call SVRS. And that system, what it means is that if the pump detects that there's any problem with the flow, with the suction, it will shut off for safety. So there's no problem if, if uh, for some reason somebody can get stuck on a suction line, the pump will shut off so you can let loose or, 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 or something can let loose. So again, we have this system, it's called SVRS, Vacuum Release System. Actually, it's called Safety Vacuum Relief System, and that's just for safety. Fully programmable, so you don't need a time clock. Everything's on the computer or on the driver itself. You can do up to eight programs with this, so you can do eight different timers. And not only you can do the timers, but you can select what speed you want them to run it, and you can also select what days you want it to be like that. So the timers doesn't have to be daily. I mean, you can choose simply a single date. That's no issue with that whatsoever. So this pump can move up to 160 gallons or even more. It's all gonna depend on the TDH of the system of the plumbing of the equipment room, for example. <clears throat> all these Pumps come with the same controller, just like our, our residential pumps. So the programming is going to be pretty much the same. New style, a new motor that the driver was changed at the same time the motor was changed to keep the motor cooler so it can last a lot longer. So new model, new style, new pump. HCP 2000. These are single speed pumps and they go up to five horsepower. Also, there are 208, 230, up to 460 volts. Um, it's all gonna depend on the motor. You can go with 60 hertz or 50 hertz. Same thing with the unions, they're gonna be two inch on the inside, two and a half on the outside. They're all plastic or thermoplastic design, so Nothing to worry about corrosion. Uh, Trilock strainer. So that's gonna be a lot easier to, to get access, to open up the basket and to clean it. And also the flow speed up to 200 gallons per minute on, this, on these models. Here we can see the curves. Again, you can find this on our catalog or simply on our web. Here we can see the models of how big or how much flow it will cover depending on, on which model. The blue line that you see on top or the blue curve, that's for a five horsepower pump. So here we can see that it goes up to almost 200 gallons per minute on this little single speed pump. This is called the TriStar or HCP 2500 series. So again, electric vers versatility, unions are included. They come with the pump. It's a very light pump, 35% lighter than any other on, in the competition. Wide power, removable strainer, no tools needed. Connections, two inch by two and a half. Very nice installation with this pump. Let's talk about filtration now. Okay, so filtration. 
first of all, I want to show you this new filter that we have. It's called the DEP 500 series. So what's so nice about this filter? I'm not really sure if you use DE filters, but if you do in your countries, then this filter, it's the best filtration system ever. So once again, we have cartridge, we have DE, and we have sand filters. The most common one is the sand filters, but just remember that we have different types of filtration depending on the filter. For example, sand filter is never going to filtrate as much or as, as good as a cartridge. And at the same time, DE filters filtrate a lot better than a cartridge. So there's a sequence, sand, then cartridge, then DE filters. So DE filters will give us the best quality of water, the best quality of filtration. Okay, uh, sand filters will filtrate about 20 microns, and then cartridge will go up to 10 microns, and then DE filters between 2.5 and 5 uh, microns of filtration. So this model, we have it available either on 60, 80, or 100 square feet of filtration with a flow of 120, 150 gallons per minute. Very nice filter. Uh, in this case, we have this type of cart cartridges. They are unique. Um, they're not regular cartridges. They're special ones made for DE filters, but this will give us a lot better filtration than having uh, all the grids of a conventional DE filter. When we talk about this filter, let's look at this valve. This valve has a very low TDH. As you can see here, and we'll show it a little bit more in, in, um, in a couple more slides, but this multiport valve has an inlet that pretty much comes straight in and it goes straight out. Remember that whenever we have a change on flow, we are causing TDH. We are causing to have more restriction. Well, in this case, this valve is gonna avoid that. And you can see here by those curves, how our valve has a very low TDH. Look at the blue line on the bottom. That's because the water comes in straight and it goes straight out. It doesn't have any kind of a change on flow. And here we can see how that flow comes in. So again, flow comes straight in. There is no spider web that we call it on the on the conventional multiports. No change on flow direction. So that makes this valve very efficient. So what do we get with being more efficient? Well, we get better flow, first of all. The pump is not gonna use that much energy because the water is just flowing. It's not changing directions. The pump is not trying to push the water through different places. So again, more efficient, we're gonna save money, and we're gonna get a better flow that we didn't get before with regular multiport valves. Also comes with the two inch or two and a half inch connections. And we call this valve select the flow. Remember this valve is only made for DE filters, not for sand and obviously not for cartridges. since cartridge don't use any kind of multiport. Once again, you can see here the flow, the curve, You can see here how much flow or how much resistance this valve has compared to a regular multipore valve. When we talk about cartridge filters, we have this model, which is, a, uh, we call it a uh, <clears throat> commercial uh, filter HCF. 
700 series and this cartridge filter it's ideal for all um for all commercial installations why do we need this kind of filter in a commercial installation well normally when we talk about commercial the first thing that comes to our head is beach okay it's having a a, a pool on a hotel right by the beach well what happens when we have cartridge filters or de filters well whenever we do a backwash we gotta waste that water and it could be that most of it goes to the ocean so that's not good for the environment well in the case of cartridge we can pretty much take this filter apart and take those little cartridges out of there and take them to a place where we have some kind of waste line or a waste um, area and rinse them out right out there so we're avoiding to waste chemicals or pour chemicals into the environment by doing this so this filter will come up to 700 square feet of filtration it has eight filters four on top four on the bottom for easy access we don't want to be picking up a dirty wet cartridge out of the filter so this is going to be pretty heavy so in this case we're going to have four on top four on the bottom and it's got a manifold design area which connects the bottom ones to the top ones so it'll be a lot easier for access simply we remove the the the, the clamp we pop up the top the, the top part and then we just take the filters apart and clean them so again remember cartridge filters will filtrate so much better than a sand filter okay and at the same time de will go better than a cartridge now let's talk about sand filters i know i've been talking a little bit bad about sand filters but at the same time we know that sand filters are the most reliable ones the most uh, uh hard or the strongest ones with the competition and easier access well in this case we have this filter that is made out of fiberglass this filter is made for commercial pools and it comes with several sizes the biggest one we have so far um, comes with two inch connections and with a flow maximum flow of 143 gallons per minute so again, several models, 30 inch, 34 inch, and 36 inch, depending on the application. You can see here how we have a nice design on the inside. We have the ribs on the bottom for a, a better flow. And these filters, you can put several of them and just make a manifold externally. So you don't have to use a regular multiport for this kind of filters gauge on the top with the relief valve so you can have uh, access to see how dirty it is and when to clean it and also a nice design beautiful color you can't go wrong with that at the same time we have these which are which are the uh, regular plastic we can call it plastic filters that require a multiport top mount side mount while well, we also have those up to 36 inch maximum flow 130 gallons per minute and again cheaper than the competition when we uh, compare price to price also available we have multi ports of different sizes in this case i know everybody knows pretty much a two inch multi port but i want to show you or introduce you to the three inch multi port this three inch multiport will give us a better flow in case of uh, sand filter installation. Maximum flow of 325 gallons per minute. Durable ABS construction. Now, let's go to our flow control valves, okay? Well, we have several valves depending on the application from check valves, two-way valves, ball valves, up to um, butterfly valve so we have pretty much every single thing that you need here this is something that was added to Hayward probably about 
three years ago, it had all, it has always been Hayward, but it was just a different division. Well, now we have incorporated to our domestic or residential commercial line. So we have flow valves of all types, from half inch valves up to four inch valves. When we talk about ball valves, at the same time, we have these with unions. This is gonna be schedule 80, um, very hard plastic, molded ball design, inch and a half, two inch, with a pressure maximum rating of 150 PSI. Colors that come on white or gray, or inclusive a dark gray. But here you can see how we have several models of these ball valves, including this new three-way ball valve that goes from 90 degrees or up to 180 degrees. So it all depends on the application, on the installation. Very nice design, three ports or two port. We have several different of, of, of them. And then we, we, come, we come here with the butterfly valves. You can use these for commercial applications. They come uh, for connections from two inch up to eight inch. And here we can see how they are and how it will be pretty much installed. And also we have the check valves, regular check valves with unions or no unions, and then more wafer check valves. Again, this is more for commercial installations, not residential, but we do have that. And also we have actuated ball valves. So that way we have um, some valves are gonna be automated by a certain kind of control or automation. They are all PVC or CPVC body. We have both models. And also we have some kind of strainers or we have strainers for a better uh, filtration quality. Here we can see how we can do an installation of either valves with a strainer. Uh, we can go with commercial as you can see on the middle where we have bigger plumbing, bigger connections bigger size. Also, we have check valves, two-way valves, and three-way valves. These valves come in two different sizes. For connections, either one and a half inch or two inch on the outside, or two inch to two and a half inch. Also, we have disconnectors, which we call sweeps. When we talk about hydraulics, this is so much better than just having uh, 245s together, and especially a lot better than, than a, a 90. These sweeps have, make the flow of the water just go smoother, okay? So we're gonna have less restriction. When we talk about hydraulics, something more efficient than this, I don't think there is anything in the market. Also, we have these connectors, as you can see here, heater tran uh, transition. So these little connectors will make a connection a lot easier. So we can avoid having a whole bunch of uh, 90s or 45s crossing around uh, the tubes. Now let's talk about white goods. We have a, a good line of white goods also. Main drains. Um, either 9 inch by 9 inch or up to 18 inch. Also, we have the 12 inch, obviously. The bigger, uh, in this case, the better for a commercial pool. It's all going to depend, depend on the flow or the size of the pool. Um, these main drains have a 3 inch connection. So that way we can guarantee we have enough suction of the flow. Also, we have this skimmer master series skimmer. Uh, we have the skimmer that has a better flow with a wider mouth or um, or simply a nice connection, which is a two inch connection. 
not only, it, it doesn't have to be inch and a half, we can go up to two inch, okay? So Hayward Commercial Aquatics, design content, please remember if you have any questions regarding any installation, anything you have in the future, you can always contact us and you will find uh, our information at the end of this presentation. So you can always write us uh, an email with any ideas or any questions you have. And just to let you know, on the commercial side, we have pretty much a good brand, a good range of items. And I did not mention this, but we also have chlorinators available for commercial pools. And at the same time, our lights. We have lights. What we recommend for installations are going to be white lights or crystal logic lights that we call. And these lights can go up to a equivalency of 500 watts. So that's going to be very bright light for big bodies of water in the case of commercial. Also gas heaters. We have ASME gas heaters. So they're certified for commercial uh, installations with a bronze header. So not only the pumps and filters, we also have heaters, lights, and chlorination. Also, besides chlorination, we also have UV systems and ozone systems for a good application when we talk about chemistry. So nice picture here, how we can see how we install a couple filters. And what I wanna show the most is two things here. First of all, if we have more than one filter or more than one chlorinator, we always recommend that we install them in series. That way we can get less flow going through them. And when we get less flow, our filters will filtrate a lot better and they will last longer also. So when we slow down the flow of water through a filter, let's talk about sand, for example, the sand is going to have more time or a more capacity to filtrate, to clean the water, to capture all the dirt that goes through the water. When we talk about chlorination, then at the same time, when we have less flow, we're going to be damaging less the uh, plates. That means that our systems are going to last so much longer. So this is the reason why I recommend always put it in parallel, not in series. If we talk about cartridge filters, well, the cartridge filters will last a lot longer also because the flow is not destroying them as it's going as it's going through the filter. So again, parallel is recommended when you have several heaters, several filters, or several chlorinators. Here we can see nice installations of doing this in parallel. Three-inch multipore valve, as you can see right here. And then after that, we do a manifold where the flow goes equally to each one of those filters. Or on the, or on the right side, we can see how we have four. We use two different multiports, but they're all attached to the same big pipe coming in the bottom, which is a six-inch six pipe. And uh, that's giving us the correct flow or the equal flow to each one of those filters. Nice installation. In this case, we use butterfly valves, as you can see here on the, on the manifold. Or an installation with cartridge filters also need to be in series, so highly recommended. But you can see here several installation, several pumps, each one with its own filter. You got to remember that each pump, depending on what flow it has or it's moving, it's going to depend on what kind of filter we install. So after we realize how much flow we're going to get, then we're going to have to get the correct filter for that kind of flow or simply install a couple of them instead of just one. Installation with commercial pumps on the left side or variable speed pumps on the right side. This is the model that we have that is 2.7 horsepower. So we can do an installation with that too. That's no issue. 
Here we can see another installation with variable speed pumps, several of them. All here on the left side, they're going to be variable speed pumps, or on the right side also. So remember, depending on what, on what flow we're getting, we need to size correctly the filter for that kind of flow. So just to finalize, uh, just a reminder, um, we have several webinars. It's going to be coming up soon. Uh, and talking about commercial pumps and filters, remember that we have pretty much every single thing that you need for a commercial pools, from pumps up to 12.5 horsepower to filters, either SAN um, or cartridge or even DE. And we also have the lights, heaters, and chlorination systems also, besides the, U, the UV and the ozone. So we have a pretty good range of items. Everything's made by Hayward. So don't forget about that part. And here to finalize, remember that today we talk about commercial pumps and filters. We'll be talking tomorrow about commercial automation, all the CAT systems and the HCC systems. So uh, also we'll talk about uh, uh, chlorination, a little bit of chemistry and our UB and also system. So sit tight for tomorrow. Make sure you um, register for the um, for the webinar. And then on Friday, we'll talk about OmniHop and OmniLogic programming. That's going to be something new that we have here in the line. And for next week, we will be having more seminars. So just sit tight and we'll give you an update on whatever we're going to be doing next week. Uh, that is going to be totally different. We're talking about doing uh, variable speed programming. So we can go step by step on all the programming and you'll have that available. For any questions you may have, you can write them down on the question section that we have that we have on this application. I don't see any questions so far, but here is our information. Roberto Sablon, Regional Sales Manager for the Caribbean and Latin America, and my, my, myself, Technical Manager for the Caribbean and Latin America. If you have any questions that maybe pop up later, just send us an email, please, and we will be happy to help you with any regards, any questions you may have. So once again, thank you very much for being with us, and we hope to see you tomorrow, tomorrow and also Friday. So again, one more time, thank you for your time. I know it's very valuable. Please stay safe. Um, sooner than later, this is going to pass. This is going to go through. So I know we're going through difficult moments, but we'll be doing okay. So thank you again, and we'll see you tomorrow.